Now what we need to do is to close that down and go on to the next one. And we do this all the way through. Um, I'd like to show you over here on the fifth vine where you can see there are several vines coming off this vine. When you go into this composition, because we made groups inside that group in Photoshop, we have compositions here already made. I'm just going to change the background colour so you can get a better idea of what's happening. And then we can see the different vines. And if we go into double click those compositions, you can see the vine and the leaf for that composition. And you just need to go through doing the same thing, taking the pen tool, and zoom in a little bit, and then, oops, that hasn't selected that layer. And just making a mask for it, and then pressing M to open the mask path, Con command copy to copy that and then drag on the right on effect to the vine press E to open up the effects go to the drop down menu go to the brush position and then control V to paste in those keyframes and you can see the brush working along there and just play with the brush size to get a a wider brush if the vine's quite thick you'll need a wider brush than if it's a lot thinner then make sure you set it to reveal original image. Then if you press U it will collapse down that um, effect other than where the keyframes are. So you can just play around with that. You might want to make that one quite short because it's not very long. And then we're just going to change the anchor point by pressing the Y key to select the pan behind tool and moving the anchor point to the start of the leaf. Make sure that you have the leaf not appearing before the vine has gotten to the point where the leaf is. And we're just going to move that along in the timeline. I'm going to press S to open the scale parameter. And I'm just going to use command and the right key to go forward a few frames to where I want it 100%. Click the stopwatch. Go back a few frames so there's 110. Go back to the start of where the leaf appears, set that as zero and then we should have another vine and leaf animation and then when you've gone through all of the vines and the leaves it should end up with something that looks like this and as you can see from the start of the timeline all of the vines and the leaves will appear and animate out now that's pretty cool, except they all start at the same time. As you can see here, we have vines and leaves that have pretty much finished, and the main vine hasn't even got there. So we need to stutter all of these so they all start at different times. We're going to need the main vine starting first, obviously. And then the second vine, makes it starts off here. We can probably bring that down a bit to about there. And then bring the next one along after that. And we can, you can generally just guess where you want them to be and then move them into position. Like that one, I think I might bring this one a bit forward. That next one. It's quite a fast animation, so you don't want them appearing a long time after each other. And there we have our finished growing vine animation. 
Now you can do lots of different things with this. If you want to make a new composition, you can then let's set this to fit. You can drag that into another composition. The reason why this is invisible, remember, is because it there's nothing there at the start. So you have to move it along so you can see where the vine will be. And you can use this and you can like, Command D to duplicate it and then play around with the positioning and the scale and you can have duplicate as much as you like, make it smaller make it appear that it is a vine growing off your original vine and then again just stutter these so they're not at the same time if you wish and then watch them grow and you end up with something a bit like this I've been Adam from Doodle and Drama.com and I've just shown you how to animate vines in After Effects.